Here you go, friends. This is interesting. I don't know. I just walked in the door and <laughs> been scratching my head about one thing or another today. Um, and this, well, this may just be the first one on the list. Uh, I'm going to do a bunch of them. Here's a pretzel. Okay. It's a nice pretzel. Sa they're Sandy's pretzel. She likes them. It's, uh, it's a salt-free pretzel. There's I assume probably no salt in the, I'm assuming no salt in the pretzel uh, itself. And there's also, of course, and probably more than anything, hello, uh, in, in any case, there's, there, there's no salt on the pretzel. And Sandy likes these because they have evidently no salt in the pretzel batter, I guess is what you call it, I guess. And I said, so for less ingredients, you pay more money. She says, yeah. I said, well, gosh, <laughs> couldn't they give you just, I mean, if, I, I know it's a minute amount of salt and maybe there's a special process they got to use to keep the salt on the pre or to have a pretzel bake without salt on it. I mean, there might be some very good reason why this has to have, why it's got to be more money if it has no salt. But I, I, I don't know. It makes me want to get salted pretzels and just go like that and get the salt off them with my fingers. Maybe leave a little, maybe one or two crystals of salt on there just so I can have the, the taste of salt on my pretzel. But I don't know. This nothing really bad about the pretzel. You can sort of taste a little different. Trouble is, I'd, I think I'd sooner have the salt on it and, sa and save a buck or so. Not a buck, but, you know, a nickel or two. That would be... Either way, well, I guess I'm not... Who's complaining? What you do is you get some dip. Yeah, dip the darn things. But just interesting. It's for less you pay more. Less ingredients pay more. Now there might also now there might also be a these maybe maybe somehow in the batter that actually makes up the pretzel. Maybe they need something else. Maybe so that the uh, in other words uh, maybe a salted pretzel somehow cooks better because it's got some salt in the actual pretzel itself. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that might be, maybe they've got to throw something else in so that this pretzel will bake properly. Some kind of salt substitute. Not not necessarily fake salt, but something that helps the process along when the darn thing bakes. Mm, you know, go figure. Either way, hey, they're great. Get some nice onion dip or something. <laughs> Or some cheese dip on a pretzel. Oh, yeah. Mmm, oh. <laughs> good. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you later. And uh, uh, God bless. Enjoy your pretzels. Potato chips, I guess they got potato chips doing the same thing. No salt on them. Yeah. I'd sooner have the salt. But then again, if you can't eat salt, it's nice to at least have something. So, God bless, friends. Bye now.